Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. I wasn't planning to do this video today, but I finished having a wash and getting ready for the day and while I was in the bathroom, the post woman came and I was thinking, okay, did she drop me off anything? But I wasn't thinking that she did have anything for me. But when I came out of the bathroom, I saw that my abominable book club box has actually come. Quite good because usually these come in about the f about four days into the month, so it's the second today. So I'm really pleased with this. So a quick little you know, explanation about what this actually is. A bundle is a horror slash thriller monthly subscription box over here in the UK. Of course, it delivers worldwide, but depending on, on where you are in the world, the prices of the shipping obviously goes up. I haven't actually watched any videos on the unboxing of this month's box, so I have no idea what stuff is actually in this. We did actually get an email saying that there would be a kind of a extra bonus book. What it was, they had all these about 20 books that were signed by the authors, and that they said that in random boxes they would put a wrapped signed book that would be wrapped up in black paper but considering that it was about 20 books and they probably send out hundreds of these but considering that they send out hundreds of these things every single month what is the chances of me getting one of these books in this box so yeah let's just open this up and see what i have this is brand new i haven't opened this up so i have no idea what i'm going to be getting myself into yeah, and of course they have all these little cardboard things as well. A little fun fact as well, guys, that a bond ball doesn't actually have any, um, like, plastic wrapping or any plastic that they use in the packaging. So that's good. So anyway, this is one of the bookmarks they have. What's this? We never stop. We never sleep. And now we're in your home. What's this? Not sure what this is. I mean, that's what it says. If anyone knows what this is referring to, please comment down below. I might have to look on this spoiler card. I think this might have something to do with Horror Store by Grady Hendrix because of the IKEA looking furniture in the um, bookmark. Next we have is one of the Abominable Book Club's own branded bookmarks with a short story from Owen, who is one of the creators of this box. Next we have a snack, which is Mr. Filbert's really interesting snacks. And this is Cafe Espresso Coffee Chocolate Nut Mix. That sounds epic. Coffee, chocolate and nuts. Okay, so what I'm expecting this to actually be is nuts wrapped in chocolate with a very, very, very faint taste of coffee. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having this. I've never seen this brand before. Oh, have a little black envelope um, that last time I had one of these, it contained a signed book plate. Which, pretty sure this is what this thing is. Yes. Oh. I recognize this picture. That's um, Wolf. I've seen this book in stores and online, but I have no idea if it's my thing or not. So yeah, really good to have the uh, signed book plate. I presume that the book is in here as well. Next we have is the bag of drinks. Let me just put the signed book plate somewhere safe so it doesn't get destroyed. And of course I'm getting cardboard all over my bed. Typical. The things we do for the you know, environment guys, yeah? So let's see what we got. Now we have one of these cappuccino Nescafe things which you mix up in water. These are really cool. A galaxy hot chocolate. And a couple of tea bags which are the off-blank brands which are Fruit tea, which this one is forest fruits and ginger. It's really going to be really good having this one because my 
throat's still not 100% better. And a green tea, which is jasmine and orange flavour. So, yeah. I'll be looking forward to having them ones. And, of course, they had to be an absolute darlings and give me another one of these coffee tea bag things. Comment down below, does anyone actually enjoy having these? Does anyone actually like drinking these? <sighs> so what I'm going to do is I am going to have this now. And um, just give me a sec, guys. Let me make this and I will be back in a minute and I'll be drinking this on camera. So I've just made the coffee and it's really hot. So I just need to put it down and wait for it to cool. And then as soon as it's done, I will be drinking it. Uh, we've got a book here, which is Dead Seas Volume 1, Terror in the Trench, an anthology of aquatic horror, edited by J. Alexander. This looks really cool. I like getting anthologies. So this is all good. This is the uh, cover. Now, I presume all these stories are horror-based, and they are... Yeah, got something to do with the ocean. So at the back it says, Dive in. Welcome to the Terror of the Trench. The first anthology from Dead Sea Press. Then it has a list of all the authors there. I don't recognise any of these, but if you do, let me know if they're any good or not. So it says, 15 fantastic authors, 15 thrilling tales of aquatic horror. From magic rags to sunken wrecks. From deep sea sh serums to monsters of the marinas. This collection will crush you. And then, uh, then here it says, All profits go to the Shark Trust, benefiting sharks, skates and rays. So that's cool that it actually benefits. Because the last one I had benefited homeless, but this one benefits sea life. So that's cool. I'm looking forward to reading this. I'll get to this one as soon as I can. And yes, the book that I had in mind. Sorry about shaking the camera. Let me get rid of this pin first. Uh, what's this? Not sure what this is. Mr. Tang University, uh, 1928. Have no idea what that is um, all about. Um, don't know if you can pick up on the camera. Uh, if you can, let me know what this is in refer. I mean, re referring to, but I've not got a clue. Probably my least favourite pin that I've got from them so far. So let's just get the book, which, of course, I'm having cardboard all over my floor now. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is the book that I had in mind when I saw the book plate. And this is Sundial by Katerina Ward. I have no idea if I will like this one. Of course, because of the cover, it drew my eye to it. The book is just a standard blue with that orange gilded lettering on the side. No sprayed edges. I mean, no sprayed edges. Okay, so I have read the synopsis for Sundial. And I know it's a thriller, it says it's a thriller, and it's also done by the same author uh, that wrote The um, House on Needless Street. And they've got a picture of the author on the back. I'm not sure what to make of the, of the synopsis, but it's about 320-ish pages long, so not super long. So let me know if you've actually read Sundial um, and what you thought about it. Let me know if you want me to read this sooner because, because if I get a good amount of people saying that they want me to read this in the comments, then I will read it sooner. And obviously let me know if you've read it and let me know if it's any good. But I will get to this as soon as I can. Uh, as I said, if people want me to read this, I will try to read this this month but we'll have to wait and see so that's it guys that is the abominable book club for april this was the full guts version i forgot to say it at the start of this video 
But I'm really pleased about what I've actually got. Yes, yeah, some of it I wasn't really too fond of, but I have got three books. And yeah, I'm really happy about getting these ones. One that I'm from an author that I'm don't know whether he's, he's going to be my thing or not. Um, a book that I've seen in the shops and a horror anthology which I'm really happy to actually get through and really excited to get through. The only thing that I wasn't really too fussed about was the pin. Um, if you know what this is referring to, let me know down below. I will probably have to Google it and see what it is all about. But I will have a link down below to a Bundle's website in case you want to check that out. If you have any questions about a Bundle as a subscription service or anything about their boxes, let me know down below and I will try to answer your questions. But to me, it is really worth it. I really am excited about getting this box. It's the highlight of my month. So with all that out of the way, have a great day. Read some awesome books and I will see you all in my next video. Nearly forgot about the coffee for a minute. Let's have a little taste. Ooh. Yeah, not the greatest uh, cup of coffee. If you have one of these guys, whatever you do, do not put milk in it. It will taste even more weaker than it already is. But yeah, I, I'm glad I'm drinking it now so I can get it over and done with. Drinking dishwater, it really is. So yeah, that's it guys. So I will see you around.